In this video guide, we are going to show you how to properly glue oxygen and temperature sensor spots into transparent sample containers using silicone glue. Follow these steps for an ideally fixed sensor spot in your setup ready for your measurements. The required items are the silicone glue SP glue, the glue kit SP glue kit, which includes a 2 ml disposable syringe with a flat needle and a long spatula, a tweezer, the spot adapter spot bus to fix the fiber for sensor readout. In our example, we are using the oxygen sensor spot OxSP5. The sensor spots have an optical isolation on the sensing surface, which has to be placed in direct contact with the gas or aqueous sample. The back side of the sensor spots is green with a smooth surface, which has to be glued onto the inner wall of the sample container. Through the whole process, gloves should be worn to protect the sensor spots and the quality of your measurements. Prepare the sample container of your choice. The wall should be transparent and the adhesion surface should be plain or only slightly curved. Ensure the surface is dry and clean for better mechanical stability of your glued sensor spot. First, fill your syringe with silicone glue. Attach the glue lock fixture to the syringe. Draw up the glue and make sure it's free of air bubbles. This might take a bit of patience. Once done, remove the fixture and attach the needle. Next, dip the spoon of the spatula into distilled water to wet its surface. A small water drop should remain on the back of the spoon. Carefully remove the sensor spot from the package surface and place the sensor spot on the spoon with the water drop with the green and glossy side up. Add around 5.5 to 6 microliter or about 6.5 mg of silicone glue to the clean, dry inner container wall where the sensor will be mounted. Insert the spatula with the attached sensor spot into the container and position it on the drop of the silicone glue. Gently press the spot against the container wall with the rounded side of the spatula until it's fully fixed. For maximum mechanical long-term stability, surround the outer rim of the sensor spot with silicone glue. Ensure there are no air bubbles between the sensor spot and the container wall. Ensure that the entire green side is embedded in glue. But be careful not to get any glue on the central part of the black sensing surface. Glue on a sensor can lead to a significant increase of the response time. For pH sensors, please refer to our gluing guide for pH sensors. To be able to connect readout fibers to the sensor spot, you need to fix the spot adapter spot bus. For this, add some of the silicone glue on the surface of the spot adapter and press it on the outer wall of the sensor spot position. Let the fixed sensor spot and spot adapter dry for at least 12 hours. Ensure good ventilation as acetic acid is released during drying. Do not use it before the glue has completely dried. Now glue one of the included stickers with the specific sensor code of the sensor spot at the outside of the sample container. This sensor code has to be entered into the respective channel of the software settings. The sticker also supports the subsequent assignment of the respective sensor. Remove the needle from the syringe and deposit it properly in a cannula disposal box. For short-term storage, close the syringe with a screw cap to keep the silicone glue fresh for a few weeks. The readout fiber can be now connected and measurements started. Watch our latest video or check out our YouTube channel for customer reports, guides and product showcases.